Now, back to pro music this week. Let's go to the next segment. Okay, one of your favorites, uh, speaking of fan favorites, is the bums, of course. Now, there's a little worry about uh, the safety of Julius P. Corbett. Oh. Uh, this Dutch Wait. Moran nonsense. Oh, oh, something bad's gonna happen. What are you talking about? I'll tell you that. What are you telling me? Everything in my inner self tells me that there's something bad gonna happen Do you know in that something room. here that uh, you're not telling us about? No. No, but uh, uh, if I had my crystal ball here, I could tell you everything. Blow for blow. But I left it at home. Crystal ball. Okay, well, let's uh, let's go see what's going to happen with the bums. Uh, in fact, here comes Julius P. Corbett now. They're scheduled to play a two-verse G blues with a harmonica solo and a song entitled Yard Bull Blues. You know, if he took Gula to a hawk shop, I'll bet he couldn't get 50 cents. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Time for a new cigar. Tonight, I would like to perform a composition which was composed on the Duluth to Istanbul, Georgia Railway. I will be performing it on my beloved guitar, Beulah, and I will be assisted by the talented and trusted companion of myself, Lucky. You know, naming him Lucky was some kind of a cool joke. Oh, and I don't start in on Lucky. Poor guy. Wait a minute. Wait, what's this? I don't know. What's going what, on? What is going on? Holy cow, it's not Beulah. That ain't Beulah. Somebody switch guitars there. What's going on? This isn't right. This is, this is the 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 preposterous here. Left it outside. I think it may be guitar napping. Let's go backstage and see if we can't find it out. Ken Jones Live. Where are they taking us? Ken Jones. Ken, interview Corbett hey, there. Hey, interview Corbett. Uh, Grab Corbett and interview. Corbett. Interview Corbett there. Hit him. I can't hear. Hey, interview Corbett, you dummy. Interview Corbett. Well, that's just sad. It's tragic because I think uh, Beulah is probably, possibly, Julius P. Corbett's only possession, certainly his prized possession. Hey, man, well, you know, you got to take care of your instrument. As far as I'm concerned, you know, that that guitar could be on a, in a boxcar to, to Dubuque right now, you know? I think we know where the... Julius the Corbett is. hangs around in hobo jungles and, and, and sleeps in boxcars, you know? That thing could be anywhere Some by now. Some of the most honest people you'll ever meet. All right, it, uh, Beyond that, let's go right now and uh, speaking about honest people, let's check out what the Polecats had to say about the situation with them and Elroy Purvis a little bit earlier this you're, week. You're talking about Dutch Moran, aren't you? There's some honest folk. Oh, please. That's, you're darn right. Because I tell you what, you know, I, yeah, that's right. I don't think his money's any good anyway. But I tell you what, you know, we heard the sound, the roar of the crowd tonight. We heard him cheering us on, the 10 foot polecats. I tell you what, that they felt were pretty good, on huh, boys? The songs that I wrote. That's right. Tell them. They were it. cheering on the solos that I wrote. They were cheering on the arrangements that I wrote. They were cheering on the dance steps that I wrote. That's right. They were cheering the on the choreography that I wrote, the costumes. That's we'll be all we band. need. They're that's right all we need to go right to the top on Philly. Philadelphia on the 15th. Philly, the city of brotherly love. That's we right. shall be there. Ain't the Polecats. Right. And I want to tell you something else. I want to tell you something else. If it wasn't for my poor eyes, I would be the former, the prestigious king. That's right. You'd be the king. Of the rock and roll. And I might add, I wrote the songs. I That's sang right. the songs. Indeed. I, indeed, indeed, indeed. I sang them songs. Okay. I wrote them songs. And the Temple Polkas were banned long before the Major came upon right. some, some like chillings, some small chillings in the wilderness. The Major came and preyed upon us. That's right. I'm a better looking man. I'm a better dancer. I'm a better singer. And I'm a goddamn better soloist. Strong allegations here from uh, Earl. I can back Strong. them allegations up. You better believe he can. He's the man. He wrote all this. I'm telling you, Elroy Purvis has been riding our coattails for too long now, and we don't need him. We're going to the top 10-foot polecats in Philadelphia. You better believe it, baby. 